And we back on the ship with Gary and waking up from the nightmare that was Parallel 1. So for those of you who have been following since the beginning, y'all know what's going on. And y'all know I'm about to skip ahead to start Parallel 3. So we're going to skip ahead right now and go all the way to the captain's what, dock, whatever, that, whatever he had. In 3, 2, 1, let's go. Hi again. Okay. So y'all see the time is now in blue. Parallel 1, the time was in red. Parallel 2, the time was in yellow. And now we in blue. Hurry, lock that door or Balam will get in. Yes, sir. Oh, I gotta use the key. Uh, we can't. Balam has escaped from his cage. Transmit the SOS signal immediately. What? That's terrible. Quick, close the door. I'm, I'm afraid. I, I can't move. Hold me, please. But, all right, I'll operate the, uh, the radio. This is the prisoner transfer ship, Seat Bandits. Balan, the monster who is to be executed by carbon freezing, has escaped from his cage. Many of the crew are dead. I repeat, this is the prisoner transfer ship, Seat Bandits. They go Balan right there. The original Balan. Be quiet and don't make a move. Shut up. So for whatever reason this time, uh, Balan don't get in the, the captain's dock or whatever. Like, I don't know how he got in in Parallel 1 or in Parallel 2, how he got in there. Because he clearly just tried to scratch steel and he couldn't do it. But anyway, so now he jumps off the ship and now he's swimming. Oh no, he jumped off the ship. This is Sea Bandits. Bilal has escaped from the ship. Please issue an emergency alert. I repeat, this is Sea Bandits. Bilal has escaped from the ship. Please issue an emergency alert. Okay, so I heard a strange sound coming from the ship's bow. Let's go and take a look. I gotta go out this way. I don't see what anybody else got to say. It's good to be alive. Thank you very much, Mr. Bounty Hunter. Unfortunately for the ones that were killed, yeah, they, they did. That little monster. What's so scary about Balan? I'll defeat him the next time I see him. Yeah, that's not what happened in Parallel 1. And you were scared as hell in Parallel 2. And you was just scared uh, a few minutes ago. Let me go over here. Balan, that dreaded monster. I'll track him down to the ends of the earth. No matter how long it takes. K's ship, or submarine looking thing, the ninja summer, submarine. They go belong right next to it. Like they was working together or something. I mean, really though, the blonde is right there. You would think he would just kill her. So here comes the title. <laughs> Parallel 3, a hunt for the lies. It's always a hunt for something. A hunt for the evil, a hunt for the blah, blah, blah. Hunt, hunt for the lies. And Parallel 3 is a two-party. It's two parallels in one. Just to let y'all know. This is C-Band. Okay, well, that's the message I sent earlier, or Gary sent earlier the uh, emergency alert about Balan escaping. Repeat that message again. Right away, sir. Okay. Uh-huh. This prisoner called Balan. He single-handedly escaped from the transfer ship. If that's true, he is quite formidable. He might make a great audition to our rebellion. That's probably not a good idea, Bruno. This information is unconfirmed, but the monster Balan is reported to be attracted to Balonium. I mean, Balanium. Yeah, Balan is attracted to Balanium. Gee, who would have thought? Balanium, huh? 
Drizzit, drop the plan to go downtown. Hand me the Belonium. I'll go I'll go talk to Belon. Is Belon coming to this island? Most likely, provided that he knows that there's plenty of Belonium on the island. Alright, I'll be back. Yeah, so it, so instead of Drizzit going out there, now it's uh, Bruno. Beep, beep, beep. K, please respond. This is Silver K. Headquarters, are you receiving me? Okay, it was a bunch of... They want her to terminate her mission. Already? So, what was that? They So she came to the island, but they said not to do the mission? And she just disappears? How come she ain't bumping to Balan? Uh, whatever. It's very strange. No one makes me wait this long. How rude of Drizzit to call me and not show up? Hey, Balan, if you are in the water, listen to me. I have the Balanium. In the island's underground mine lies a thousand times more. If you cooperate, I'll let you join forces with us. And here comes Balan. In case, in case y'all don't see him, y'all y'all heard his theme song playing. Hey, what was that? How did you get behind me? You must be Balan. I see that you are very strong. I'll let you join the J-Lo without even testing you. And Bruno gets his ass kicked. Oh, he gets killed. I'm pretty sure he's, yeah, he, no, he has to be dead. Balan don't spare nobody. Thanks to the automatic navigator, we've made it to Jella's Island. But I detect something is terribly wrong. Furthermore, even the air smells vile. Anyway, I think I think we've had this conversation before. So we jump off the ship, and we get stopped by, you know, the warden, Kurt, and his guards. We have the same conversation, well, almost the same, but it's slightly different, because they they haven't seen Belong, whatever. Don't let your guard down. His powers are extraordinary. Yeah. Whether you are a murderer or an expert bounty hunter, he can kill you with a single strike. What? Even an expert bounty hunter? That's very impressive. By the way, is he really heading towards the island? He's already here. Okay, so I, I want to say right now that I promise y'all that um, this will not be like Parallel 1, even though Balan is still alive. This will not be a repeat of Parallel 1 at all. So anyway, yeah, moving on. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we do the same thing we did last time. We save the game, explore a little bit. It has been a minute since I played the game, like when y'all was watching Parallel 2, I had done that a while ago. So I don't remember the rooms. There's some chocolate that we can pick up. This is why I was exploring, because I knew there was some kind of items I can pick up. Some chocolate. Uh, not in this room. Yeah, no, but that, that Parallel 2, I did that like, a month or two ago when that was recorded. So forgive me if I don't remember what's going on. If I don't remember all these rooms I've been to in this first part anyway. Okay, was that it? Am I done? Maybe whatever. So we got this dude right here who wants us to drink this juice, which is really alcohol, but we gonna go ahead and call this juice. You know how you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drank the juice in one gulp. The dude is amazed, and then we move on. Uh, the weapons, the weapons. Uh, what was it? The weapons merchant or whatever the weapons maker. Well, she ain't even down here. I thought she would be down here, but she's not. The girl we saw earlier, the one, the one who Drizzit always be talking to. Uh, the one who was. Waiting for Drizzit, but Drizzit ain't coming to it this time. Uh, so we go over here, and you know the kid. 
The kid over there will say something, Balan will get pissed off, and Balan will try to strike him, but he don't strike him, then all these roses, these blue roses pop up, and Balan gets a scar, like always. I hate bounty hunters, and, da -da 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 -da, and I'm stupid, and I'm young, and I'm such a baby, and Blon, uh, Gar Garion versus uh, the, kid, uh, the boy, and blue roses, like I said. And cue the scar. By the way, did I did I call uh, Gary and Belong on accident? I think I did. My bad. I'm just trying to get past this stuff so fast. I don't even know what I'm saying. So we gotta go into the bar. The pig will say something stupid. They saw a woman. In, uh, in that forbidden place, was it dangerous, whatever that the thing is called? Whatever, the, whatever it's called. That, that place where I fight the bears. The, the big looking bear things, whatever. Yeah, okay, I have no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't wanna sell me no juice. They hate bounty hunters. Go talk to Richie, I don't know who Richie is. Okay, I was not paying attention because I stopped reading the dialogue because I thought y'all would get y'all would get annoyed with all the with all the reading. But Richie is the bartender. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. So I was wandering around. I did not know that. He's the bartender. So I had to talk to Dunbar. I think is it Matt or Dunbar? I think it might be Dunbar. I had to, had to talk to Dunbar, and Dunbar gets the bartender to talk to me. Yeah, Dunbar. It says it right there. Gentlemen, Dunbar will buy you some juice. Tell me what you want. So this, so in this one, Dunbar is not an asshole. Dunbar is good for some reason. I don't know why. So we're not gonna be capturing Dunbar because he's not gonna be fighting us. I don't think we're gonna be fighting the pig either. Maybe, I don't know. Gary, stop drinking that, that alcohol. Let's call it what it is, people. By the way, I overheard something interesting. A woman and a death, there, that's what it's called, Death Valley. That place, that place down there with all that water and where the bears is at. I was wondering what, where you were as soon as you are enjoying yourself. Here comes Kurt. Kurt's birthday, mm -hmm, indeed, but I have some terrible news and need to talk to you. What is it? It is rather complicated, but some of the prisoners on the island are rumored to be preparing for a rebellion. A rebellion? One of the leaders of the rebellion is Bruno, who's dead now. He is a middle commander, and I just received a report that he is in the vicinity of Death Valley. And so, Warden, what does that have to do with me? I have a request to ask of you. You are known for your great skills as a bounty hunter. I would like you to track Bruno and capture him. Why me? I have no one else I can trust. If Bruno escapes, we will not know when the attacks will start on this island. Hey, Jack, what do you think? This might be related to Balan. All right, let's do it. You can enter Death Valley from the emergency exit in this town. I've already unlocked the door. I'm counting on you, Gary. So now we go to Death Valley. Because it's unlocked. We don't need a key or nothing like that. We can just go in. We ain't need to give that dude over there no chocolate or nothing. Welcome to Death Valley for the third time now. Let's see, there's some chocolate over here, right? Yep, there is some chocolate. Was it two two chocolates right now we got? Two of them? Ooh, the bear is right here. By uh whatever his name is. Bios, that how you say his name? The bear is right here. Yo, there's the most amazing monster in this in this one in parallel three. There's the most I was trying to get it perfect, but that's not gonna happen no more. Yeah, the most amazing monster is, is gonna come up right here in Death Valley. And it ain't a bear either. It ain't this bear, it ain't the next bear, it's something else. Like y'all gonna see what I mean. He really just stood there and took that. Did I still capture him? I think I might have screwed that up. 
If I don't kill him with this next attack, I can catch him. Oh, well, never mind. No bear. Oh well, that's okay. That's okay. I think y'all see me using plenty of plenty of times anyway. So moving on, this should be the second bear that should pop up now. Second bear should be popping up soon. Oh, cutscene. Now we at the laboratory with the alien looking dude and Kurt. They're gonna have their conversation like they did last time. That's not very funny. Not only did Balan escape from the ship, but this arrogant bounty hunter is roaming around on my island. What a wonderful birthday present, don't you think, Doc? Yes, indeed. I imagine you must be relieved to find out that Belong has escaped. Hmm, very insightful, Doc. Very smart. I was reluctant to take on the so-called Belong monster into my island, even if he was to be immediately executed. It is rare to see you so pessimistic. Yes, but I have had this bad feeling recently. I also don't like the recent movements by the J-Lo. Furthermore, this rude bounty hunter is annoying. Please rest easy. I've just released our most vicious Bios monster into Death Valley. The one we got from the black market in India. Yeah, we got, so there's gonna be this new monster from India that I'm talking about, and he's the best monster ever. Smirk. That's very good. Come to guards. Kurt, what is it? We have detected movement by JJ in the underground city. It seems the members of the JLo are gathering. Hmm, what are they plans? It is not very clear at this time, but the conflict between Bruno and JJ seems to be escalating. Very well, let them fight amongst themselves. Once they are weakened, I'll crush them. Should we call for additional security guards to monitor the JLo? No, they won't be necessary. Let them play their silly games. They will all die soon enough. He 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 he. You sure are an evil man. Continue to report on JJ's movements. Yes, sir. Okay, back to me.